NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, the first satellite mission to study Pluto up close, is also the fastest spacecraft ever launched. It's currently traveling about 34,000 miles an hour, which means it does New York to LA about every four minutes, 24 seven. It's just, it's really going fast, about twice as fast as a, a space shuttle. Such high speed has allowed New Horizons to reach Pluto, three billion miles away from Earth, in just nine and a half years. But the velocity also has some potentially dangerous side effects. So one of the consequences of traveling very fast is that uh, impacts on the spacecraft can, are very violent, even impacts by very small particles. Imagine a pebble hitting the windshield of your car while you're traveling at over 30,000 miles per hour. If a small rock kicked loose from one of Pluto's moons were to hit New Horizons, it could compromise the entire mission. It could be game over. The scientists and engineers who worked on New Horizons took some precautionary measures, including equipping the spacecraft with a bulletproof vest. One thing that very few people appreciate is that inside the gold foil, the, the multi-layer insulation blankets that wrap New Horizons and help keep it warm, is a Kevlar layer, the same stuff that bulletproof vests are made of. It's designed to keep out micrometeoroids so that they don't pierce the spacecraft walls and get into the electronics or the fuel lines or the fuel tank or damage an instrument. Um, but lo sufficiently large enough particles could get through that Kevlar. And, and uh, we don't think that that's very probable, but we are flying into the unknown. In addition to this protective layer, the scientists are carefully monitoring New Horizons' current path and keeping an eye out for any debris. We've done a lot of computer modeling. We've had different teams of experts look at the problem. We're pretty convinced the odds are very low, well below 1%. Um, and uh, NASA's conducted independent reviews to check that. But because it's a space mission, we always have backup plans. And so we've also prepared um, a set of imagery that we will make on approach beginning in May to look for hazards. And we'll radio those back to the ground. And we have teams of experts who are trained to look at those images. And if we find anything worrisome, then we've also prepared other trajectories. Um, that we can divert to. We can fire the engines and go this way or that way through the Pluto system to avoid that hazard. As a last ditch effort, New Horizons can also use its dish antenna as a shield against incoming debris. This would reduce the amount of data that the probe would be able to collect and transmit, so the scientists would prefer not to have to do this. From my standpoint as principal investigator, I, I don't lose any sleep over this. And I also know that that um, we have the very best people in the world on it. I mean, literally the best people in the world on it. Uh, the best planetary astronomers. But if, if you're a betting person, you're probably not going to lose any sleep over it either. New Horizons will make its closest approach to Pluto on July 14th, 2015, when the probe will gather the best images and information about the outer planet. During the seven weeks leading up to that date, the mission team will have to decide if they should choose an alternative trajectory or even resort to the satellite shield trick. That's in addition to a lot of other work to make sure the close encounter is absolutely perfect. We call that whole approach sequence and the decision making seven weeks of suspense. Good luck, New Horizons. And for Space.com, I'm Calla Cofield. Space.com.